For the past couple of weeks, I've been getting a bunch of music production and DAW video recommendations on my YouTube homepage. And one of those videos led me down a rabbit hole of aim and break compositions that basically only use that sample and make a whole composition based on it. The aim and break is a drum solo featured in the track Amen Brother recorded in 1969 by the Winstons and it's basically become the world's most sampled loop. This is the sample right here. Great Big Story has a four minute video that recaps the history of the Amen Break and the modern usage. So if you're interested in learning a bit more about the origin of the sample, you can click on the link in the description below. Now, the video that I saw seems to be a bit of a trend lately where music producers will grab one sample of anything and then they'll try to make a whole song using just that single sample, right? So they'll use it in very creative ways, bending the notes, grabbing little sections and trying to get notes from them, sometimes using resonators, compression and other techniques just to try to get yeah, use that single sample and extract a lot more stuff than you would think is available. So for example, if you've got something like a drum loop, maybe reversing it, maybe chopping it up into its individual transients, maybe grabbing one of those tiny transients and looping it super fast so you can get the illusion of a note. I'll show you the basic principle of how this works real quick. So you start off off by just dropping the Amen break sample into a track. Now, if you grab that audio and you drop it into a sampler instrument, when you play the different notes on the keyboard, you'll notice that all that it's doing is pitching up the whole sample. But if you drop it onto the simpler instrument instead, you'll notice that on the left hand side you have the slice option, which will basically automatically slice it according to the transient. So then when you play the notes on the keyboard, you'll notice that each one of them corresponds to a different fragment or part of the whole sample. You also have a few knobs available to control the transposition, basically the pitch or note that it's playing, as well as controlling the attack, decay, and a few other parameters. But check this out, you can also change the duration of each of those slices. And by grabbing a small section and looping it super fast, you'll notice that the frequencies start to appear. Basically, any sound in nature has a note, right? Even the words that I'm saying right now. So even drum sounds actually are composed of these notes. So when you uh, speed them up, you'll notice these notes start to appear. So then we can add a tuner and change the tuning or playback speed until it matches the natural C. And now you can have a bit of fun by creating your own arrangement and messing around with these concepts. Now let's check out some of the videos that I found when I was going down this rabbit hole. I think this is the one that started it all titled Death by Amen, created by Virtual Riot. It starts out pretty simple, but then we see the introduction of these notes. Equi using a velocity. Crazy, right? I really recommend you check out the rest of it by just searching for Death by Amen or clicking on the link in the description because you can just feel the creativity oozing from it, right? It's just absolutely insane. And you can see also why it kind of inspired a bunch of people to create their own versions. This one is called Try Breaking the Amen Break by Vargov Music. It starts chill. Ooh. Where did that snare come from? Really creative use of tuning there. It's almost like synth sounds, right? 
But there's no synth. It's just a sample. I think that one's kind of cool, but it gets even crazier. This one is called Amen Purgatory by Ripser. Okay, I think it's a slightly different variation that it uses to start with. Ooh, that bass. Spicy. Wow. It sounds so-ish, right? And then his name just flashes on the screen there. What? How? That part just like, it takes you by surprise and it's just amazing how he created those bass tones, right? Like it's just insane. This one is by Leon and the name is Saw so Virtual Riot's Aim and Break video. Couldn't resist trying to make something similar. I think this is Fruit Loops Studio, right? FL Studio? Wow. I think this, this really takes it to another level, right? What? The swinginess there! It's mental! Absolutely mind-blowing, right? This one is from Cutoff Music and it's titled Neurofunk, but it's Aim and Break. Interesting star. What? Bro. It is so good. It is so good. Just the complexity and creativity of some of these is just next level. I just really wonder how much time they invested into these. Anyway, I thought it was kind of cool and I hope you found it interesting too. See you in the next one.